At the 2023 United Nations Summit, the African continent collectively decided to shed light on what they believe is the true agenda of Western troops stationed in African nations. Ghana's president bluntly referred to the UN as the most unfair organization, while the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo demanded the withdrawal of UN peacekeeping forces from his country. However, it was Burkina Faso's representative who delivered the most striking message on behalf of their leader, Captain Ibrahim Traoré. Captain Traoré, who has served as Burkina Faso's transition president since 2022, chose to send a representative to the UN General Assembly in New York instead of attending in person. The reason was clear, the words he intended to convey were bound to ruffle feathers and spark controversy. Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. The Burkina Faso representative began his address by paying homage to some of history's greatest leaders, including Che Guevara, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Nelson Mandela, and Burkina Faso's own Captain Thomas Isidore Noel Sankara. These leaders were all champions of their oppressed populations, but tragically, many paid the price with their lives. In a straightforward and no-nonsense manner, the representative highlighted the glaring gap between the noble principles outlined in the UN Charter, such as justice, equality, and self-determination, and the actions of powerful nations. He drew attention to the tragic situations in Libya, the Sahel region, and the Russia-Ukraine crisis, where international solidarity often seemed more like lip service than genuine commitment. Libya, once a prosperous nation, fell into chaos after the ousting and assassination of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, an event that hinted at the West's involvement in destabilizing regions rich in natural resources. The Sahel region, too, faced its share of turmoil, with nations like Burkina Faso grappling with terrorist attacks under the guise of counter-terrorism operations. The representative of Burkina Faso made it clear that his country firmly condemned the denial of access to the UN headquarters for leaders representing the people of Niger, an act reminiscent of past manipulations of the United Nations by powerful nations. Turning to the Ukraine-Russia conflict, Burkina Faso questioned the persistence of this crisis, fueled by vested interests and significant military support from Western nations. He pointed out that Ukrainian civilians were being prepared for combat, and it was the UN's duty to act as a responsible mediator to end the war, rather than exacerbate it. The representative also highlighted how Mali, Nigeria, and Burkina Faso found themselves embroiled in wars that, despite references to international law and justice, had led to widespread terror and destruction. Burkina Faso's state minister then revealed a significant disparity in the international community's response to these issues, particularly when it came to providing the necessary weapons to African nations facing grave dangers. He warned that history would hold those in power accountable for failing to assist those in peril. Addressing sanctions and interference the representative disclosed how Burkina Faso had faced cynical sanctions following events in 2022. France, in particular, had attempted to dictate the country's political appointments, leading to resistance and demonstrating the interference of Western powers. The state minister further exposed how France had actively blocked vital air defense equipment for Burkina Faso, hindering its ability to defend itself. He questioned the sincerity of the international community in safeguarding human lives. The representative did not mince words when discussing France's control over the franc CFA currency used in African francophone states. He emphasized that Africa's vast mineral wealth remained largely untapped due to the exploitation and resource extraction by Western powers. Moreover, he noted that Western powers often intervened in African countries under the guise of democracy, raising questions about who was truly behind arming, training, and supporting terrorists in the region. The state minister contended that Africa's refusal to be controlled, or dominated by fabricated conflicts and terrorism was a reflection of their commitment to genuine human rights. 
he demanded an end to diplomatic lies and called for a focus on real human rights issues. Burkina Faso's representative also expressed concern about the lack of African representation on the UN Security Council, despite Africa's vast population and size. He viewed this as a grave injustice and called for reforms. In conclusion, Burkina Faso's strong statements at the 2023 UN summit revealed a deep-seated distrust of Western intentions in Africa. They argued that Western troops stationed in African nations under the guise of peacekeeping were, in reality, exploiting the continent's rich natural resources. Whether or not one agrees with Burkina Faso's perspective, their words have undoubtedly sparked a crucial conversation about Africa's sovereignty, resource exploitation, and international diplomacy. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.